Hello, hello, this is Comrade Sirius, and I'm here to tell you something about the waste, about the update, and how it works, and how those setup, how to make a functioning setup of waste disposal. Some tips, not needed to do it exactly this way, but hey, it works. This is an example of a, of a city, you can see, it's number one, to the step one. Starting city, near a border, near customs. And you have like everything here, maybe with some small factory. I don't recommend putting it this close, but for demonstrational purposes, I have pollution off, I have, you know, easy reactions of people, no electricity and utilities to keep it maxim and to keep it simple, right? So that's how it works. Take it that way, but the waste is full on, full on. Here live some 430 people and yeah, they are making waste. They are producing waste, some metal scrap, some plastic, bio waste, burnable, other waste. You have a lot of types of waste in this game and you can, you know, tell them to sort it, but they won't because at the beginning you do not have, you do not have it researched. So they will produce only mixed waste. Anyway, so you can add multiple stands like I did, or just place here and there a few. You can also, you do not need to place stands if, if you want, if you feel like it. But every building has like one of these. It, it feels super fast and I don't recommend. Well, anyway, what is happening with it afterwards? It needs to be picked up. And for, for the purpose of picking up all these, and there are two types of container stands. The first one is this, you know, trash containers. So, yeah, all of these with the white icon on the left corner, yes, they can be picked only by te technical services. Well, to be, to, be, to be fair, these can be also can be picked also by distribution offices I, distribution office I think we can try and taste no we cannot yeah you can see it you cannot pick it up you need technical services for it so yeah let's go they need to go of course technical services while set they need some place to drop it off and as you will see this one is coming he's going to the cinema because yeah the cinema has almost full container, so that's why he's going there. But yeah, the truck, if the truck has six and a half ton capacity, the this container has 0.12 tons, so he's going there. Then he will look up if there's something else around to pick up. But well, this is too. Sm this is still not filled. Well, but still, yeah. As you can see, he turned away, he turned around, and yes, because he can now go here. So he's going there. Oh, it's this one. So, yeah. Now he's reaching for the big containers. As you can see, cinema is filling again. And he has 1.2 1 ton. He's probably not turning around anymore. So... This is the reason why this container stand is here. Because, yeah, it can fill. As you can see, it's filling. And this one has unloaded and is going home. Uh, the point is, why have this storage? This is some kind of container warehouse. It's, it's storage here. It's here on the end. And you can distinguish it by these having no, icon, no white icon here on the left. These ones for technical services do have. And it kind of sits here and wait. Wait for what? Well, for to be picked up. For a starter city, when you're starting to play, especially on realistic mode, you can use just these three. You can just use one free distribution office that will wait till this thing will fill at 10%. And then it can just export it to customs. It's the easiest setup for the beginning. 
And as you can see, I have two transfers for the containers because here near the factory where time to time someone come to work. Near this factory, there is also one. And if you if you click on it, no, if you click on this one, you, you can see that this one, this one cannot be picked up by technical services because it's not a container stand, it's a storage. And storages are to be handled by distribution offices. So that's why it's here, that's why it's, it says it's set to pick when 10% is on. And what I really recommend is just, you can see, there's a other waste, burnable waste. And other waste and burnable waste are easy to burn. What's dif the difference? Burnable waste can be 100% burnt, so no ashes. Other waste is only partly burnable, so it produces ashes. You will see it later. But if you want to pre-sort it, and if you want especially pre-sort biological waste, I strongly recommend at least putting few over here, especially if they are coming, if, if they are, you know, emerging here. What emerges where depends on what type of business, what type of business it is. There are few types of waste, as you can see, these are these icons and mixed waste uh, appears everywhere. Hazardous waste appears everywhere where you work with chemicals or at, and at hospitals, like here. So you can see, yeah, there's hazardous waste here. There's also some other other stuff that went in. I'm not a fan, but this, it has to do something with uh, uh, with the researches. I don't have them on right now because this is for the demonstration, and that's why it's sort of not working as it should but hey that's how that's how it is what do you have more here construction ways anywhere where you were especially from demolitions but anywhere where you go with ores mining so you know gravel setup coal mine iron mine bauxite mines everywhere these produce construction waste and they produce quite a lot of it so it is generally good to separate it in these these sands, give it like I don't know, like set of containers. You should not need big ones all, all the time. They are definitely smaller ones, and if your distribution office is okay and fast enough, it definitely should work. On the other hand, if you have space, you can you can place this bigger one there because if something goes wrong or some you know machinery replacement you have a buffer to that will not stall your production so that's the reason why i tend to place the bigger ones because yeah it's safer and you have more time to react if something bad happens that was about construction waste metal scrap is the same whenever you work with steel so steel pro steel production mechanical components things like this produces metal scrap Aluminum, the same with aluminum production, plastic waste, wherever you work with plastic, bio waste is wherever you work with crops or things produced from crops. So that's, you know, like these things here, Alco food, alcohol, meat, and also, you know, wood, because that's also a, like some biomass and clothes because clothes and fabric, because these two are produced from crops. Also, as you can see, Fabric Factory has is, has also chemicals, so that means it's not only mixed waste, but hazardous waste. And that mixed waste will contain a bio waste, biological waste, so it's with Fabric Factory it's definitely cool to have all three types of containers there. So something like this and, you know, one row of hazardous waste, one and a half rows of biological waste and the rest just just leave on mixed waste. That's how trash is created. Slight exception is hotels. That's why I have the second city here. Hotels produce almost everything. Like yeah, guest 
can produce and will produce even metal scrap. It's not sure about aluminum, but definitely plastic waste as well. Biological waste and mass, because they consume a lot of food, a lot of alcohol, that creates this biological waste. That's why citizen houses also produce it. And once you unlock it, it's definitely good to sort, sort it out. One of these things you can see is, is at least this. The sorting for a city buildings is at least have bio waste and mixed waste. Many times it's enough. If it wouldn't be enough, because yes, there will be small parts of other things. Like then you can have either one stand that's, you know, mixed partly of par part of what? Part, part of everything but I tend to do this because they, if people start sorting this is, man, this is kind of you know rigged because there's more containers but people will sort waste if it's optional app they just you know take it out took it out so I have the, I'll put on double speed I'll just mix it so it's on the, on the correct side and you can see these will grow and if they are next to each other or at one stand it doesn't matter this will generate only burnable and other waste and the rest will be sorted like you can see there's almost no aluminum scrap but yeah there's a small amount of it so you can keep it you can keep you know three of these and well, no, no aluminum here is. So it's maybe not not important to have it have it here, and you can just you know divide it between others. Like you know this, just say no. You definitely don't want mixed weight, so just pause it and no. Yeah, and you can see it's already something there, something invisible. So it's it's not doable. So yeah, you need to be. You need to be aware of what, what is there and what, it, what it's doing. Also, no hazardous waste is from houses. You probably should know this. Uh, hazardous waste uh, is only coming from hospital. Well, once you have these, and here you can see I have two of those buildings, so it's coming on pretty... pretty pretty large what to do with all those waste as you can see my technical my technical services is set to bring to have one only for mixed waste and yeah you can see this is some bio waste and burnable but overall it's pretty pretty well sorted I will just and it was set to load with 10% that's the mixed one and I I will empty it so you can so you can see what's actually there. And here is the sorted waste. So whenever technical service is um, is coming and will empty it. Like is it this one? Ah, this one just came. Yeah, whenever it will be emptied it will it will slowly fill up and that's why you have some you know what is a distribution office and it will push it out like here it pushed it to the border but you don't want to do it because it costs money or well with this sorted one it actually earned can earn a little bit of money most of it Definitely not hazardous waste because uh, you can look at those prices and uh, like hazardous waste is negative value. So you can import it to gain money actually, but what, what will you do with it? And there are options, obviously. One of the most basic setup is just after technical office, yeah, distribution office. Now we are not using the free one anymore, but where to put things? First. You can put bio waste here in dumps next to farm. You can also use special special factory. I don't know where it is actually now. So 
at my probably here. Yeah, it's, it's a composting plant where you can just, you know, push bio waste inside, use a little bit of chemicals and you have instant fertilizer that you can deliver here in dumps or storage containers. It's up to you. But, uh, well, farm doesn't care as long as it has some. As long as it has connected, it will it will dry it out. The good thing about bio waste is that it slowly turns itself into fertilizer by itself. You can see how it, you know, it's decom decomposing a bit, but it turns into fertilizer. So, yeah, no chemicals, and it's just happening. Nice one. It's working well. You just need a lot of bio waste, you know, to you know. Fuel some of these, fuel some of these, fuel some of these fields. So yeah, not great, not terrible. And you can see percentages, you know, just varies a lot. This one hasn't been sown, so now it's 146. Well, back to back to where the rest of it will come. Some of them you can still send to customs, like you know the sorted ones to make some money and the rest I can recommend doing here you can the thing you have free you don't need to research is you know incinerator small or big small is definitely enough for the start and you can just push you know dangerous to, uh, hazardous ways here and mixed ways here like this I am actually importing it so it's something happens because this city of this magnitude is definitely not enough. So, you know, there are some things that wouldn't be there, like the biological waste and definitely the fertilizer. You do not want to burn fertilizer, but um, I have no other option. So, it's going there and they will burn everything without any issue and it will turn into ashes. But uh, because those things are not perfectly sorted, you can see the the ashes are containing some aluminum, some aluminum scrap, some construction waste, and that can be a problem because you need to do something with it. Normally, you won't have these blue blue cars running around because uh, because the setup will look more like a yeah, distribution office that will pick from here whenever it's over like 50. 60% and it will just store those things here once this will start getting full you can just build more it's a temporary setup but you didn't need to the idea is you didn't need to pay money for exporting this this stuff out because it can be a long driving distance and like eh, you don't want to do it so what will, what do you want to do it afterwards like yeah you can burn you can burn stuff but it doesn't help yeah that's what the what researches are for one of the researches is of, of course you know to allow even sorting waste by citizens but the others are separation plans like general separation or you have you know two specialized one for scrap and aluminum but hey who cares general separation is good enough you can just plop it it looks like this it has exports for all of these because it pulls out from the mixed waste. it pulls construct it pulls out construction waste metal scrap aluminum and plastic in my area in my imported materials there is no metal scrap so it's not here but the rest is and as you can see it's actually pulling from this warehouse so nothing gets into here because they are keep they are managing it's a direct line you can usually and you will usually use direct line after you build general separation you will just use to empty empty this slot and or these dumps that's why it's good to build them with you know, with the claw because it has like 20 times faster loading <laughs> Definitely worth it. Well, what to do with separation? Again, dump, dump for import. Then, you know, some people from the bus stop that will go there and will sort mixed waste. Then you can see those one directional connections. Then the mixed waste is pushed up. 
push further away because yeah it contains some bio waste that hasn't been sorted out general separation or any other building cannot sort biological waste out that's why you sort it on the beginning in containers so you can use it on farm set on farm setups because you cannot get it elsewhere out and there's also other ways and ash because yeah it's taking from this it doesn't matter, the, the ash can just pass through incinerator, again, small incinerator, I still connected it to, the, to it, because why not, and what's on the end is ash, and you can see it disappears over time, now it's disappearing because we have no people here, and no one is working, so you can see it's, it's going down, but as soon as, you know, this will, as soon as this will get full, full over some percentages, I think I said like 80%, they will start pulling pulling the ashes here, so it, you know, so it disperses. It, so it has a chance to disperse. That's the general idea I have also, you know, here, it's just, uh, it was just, you know, in this, in this distribution office, there's also, you know, tr trucks that are going for construction waste, aluminum scrap and plastic, and they are transporting it to these. As you can see, those filled up pretty easily. So it's, again, like this one, it's not a permanent solution, but yes, you can sell these sorted, sorted things again, or you can store it for later, as you wish. Because once you do the last step i will tell you the last step you can find unit and such you'll just set up a, a separation area for like half the republic and that's the step this was step three and that is step four as you can see it's getting you know larger and larger larger mainly because this one is really high capacity and it doesn't It doesn't need to be that big, but it probably will in some sort because this is just how you want to set it. If you put put aside this thing, and I will return it, and and, and last, it's just a, you know just an incinerator. Why it's on the beginning, I will tell. But here again, import of fixed waste, general separation. This is the start. But now, from the general separation, you are actually using its connections because, as you can see. It has quite a lot of them, and one of them, you know, or two of them are conveyors, and that's for those three I've been using here, you know, the dumpers. Now it's the dumpers, now it's, you know, just a conveyor, and three places. Construction waste, aluminum scrap, and a metal scrap. I actually, I'm actually importing metal scrap, so I can have, I can have it here. <laughs> you don't need to import metal scrap because it costs money. But if you want to full setup, yeah, just do it this way. No problem. Then on metal scrap there's a steel recycling plant, because why not? You have you have them here and you will unlock them in research. This is the Yeah, this is a waste treatment plan on hazardous waste if you want to import it. I don't know why I would do it, but yeah, you can use chemicals to treat imported hazardous waste. It can it can earn you some money. You have also, you know, aluminum, steel, and plastic, and gravel recycling plant. And that's, those are here plastic, generally connectable via uh, small storage, open storage. That's this thing, like open storage small. That's this one. Then it's here, they just turn plastic waste into plastic. Hooray, they are here. What to use plastics for? Well, once you have... If you play with this update, you probably play with it all. So, there's... There are things like, you know, maintenance buildings and... Oh, this is... Yeah, repair stations. And repair stations need plastic, for example. So you can use your own plastics. Treat it. That's good. You don't need to import it as much. You probably will still import some, but hey, at least you have options. Same goes for steel, as you can, and aluminum, to a degree. 
you use it and you need it for repairs, well, you can you can have your own. Like yeah, you have you have scrap here, then then it produces aluminum, steel, and and every construction waste that goes through this recycling plant turns into gravel. Yeah, it's not even two to one. It's one and a half to one. Like yeah. 90 tons to 60 tons of gravel. Nice. And you can bake and use it. I generally recommend uh, recommend you know adding this at least via a conveyor to actual gravel storage, like near a gravel setup. It would be probably here. Because yeah, it's uh, uh, your construction offices need to have one loading location. For gravel, so or they can have only one, so it's good to have it connected to both. And as long as you know gravel setup doesn't need that much, that much people like yeah, that plant needs 15 workers. You can have one or two more. You definitely do not need four here because yeah, they will stop working. You didn't. It's just you know. A nice addition. I have a little, you know, a little problem here on the border on the customs because there's so many trucks importing waste, so I can show you. But what's after it? After it's done, I will try to pause this. Yeah, like this. You can see again it's imported waste. So there would definitely be only other and maybe burnable waste after the import. Now it's there, bio, wa bio waste and fertilizer, but those are the only ones that are coming through. And they get burned to hell by, by this huge incinerator. I would definitely not put a large incinerator here. I would definitely put and recommend to use, you know, just, to, just the one that burns it for electricity. Not sure about heat because heat you need heat only in winter. Electricity you need all year round, so it just doesn't. So it you know it can work all year. You don't need to just stack trash over summer here and then hope it will get through it before all waste processing stops. That's why I recommend using the electric the power to, um, waste to power. But yeah, I I'm not playing with electricity for simplicity here. So that's why I built a big one to distinguish. And on the end, again, dump for ash. De there's n coming nothing else through this whole thing. Without, no, there, it's not coming through. So, yeah, but it will fill over time, probably if you will run on high, on high values. So just just build more of down, more of these dumps or. Well, you can park a train here and load it, wait until loaded and then just send it away. Definitely an option. It's up to you. The largest dump have rails, as you can see it. These are the dumps with claw, the dumps with railway, so, well, why not? And that's about it. Uh, last thing, why is the incinerator here? As I, as I show, as I showed you, there's a hazardous waste with negative value, so if you import it, you will actually get those money once the vehicle is loading on the on customs. And there's currently no, not such vehicle here, so we'll wait for we wait for some, not this one. And I will just need to use some road signal. Yeah, like this. Because they need to free the... And you can see they are importing a lot of mixed waste. Yeah, this one is hazardous. So, you can see, it contains all of these things. At every border, at every customs, this composition of waste is different. That's what is important and interesting. You can import it, but as you can see, this is a six. This is six and a half ton, but the cargo cost only 300. Why, if you know one ton of hazardous waste is 
233. That's the thing. You have here more than 10% of aluminum scrap, and you know, aluminum scrap, <laughs> scrap costs, <laughs> costs 300 to import. The, and the same goes with other things. Like, yeah, the hazardous waste is only slightly above 25% of it all. So, you won't make that much money as you would think. That's the important part. And on every customs this is different, but over time it's stable on every map. So you definitely get different things. But yes, you while from this one, from this customs, you I won't get metal scrap, that's why I'm importing it separately, so I can show it. I have definitely a lot of aluminum from this. And aluminum is worth worth a lot of money, so if I won't use it, I may definitely export it again to make even more money because aluminum is worth a lot of money like for example if you look in here aluminum is 643 right now and my year 1970 so hell yeah that would definitely be worth it and as you can see this you know aluminum one it it, it does 20 ton aluminum or from 25 tons of aluminum scrap so while I import hazardous waste here, I have an incinerator, then it goes to the dump and separation and you know here is aluminum scrap and the separator will just pull it all, pull it all out and it will be it will be sent here and will be processed. So you can make additional money and sources. You cannot get, if there would be a plastic, and it's there a plastic waste. As you can see, there's there's plastic waste here because um, it's, it's, it's from the imported part, but plastic will burn 100%. So from this batch, imported plastic goes to waste. There will be no more, no more plastic from out of this. But hey... From the mixed waste it will get separated and you don't need too much plastic anyway. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, like, you can ask. What is important and I will strongly recommend is you do not, you cannot use one distribution office to import waste to the setup and the same office for, you know, transporting waste. It's not working because it's everything marked as mixed waste. Even and the only thing that's different is composition, so you definitely need to, otherwise it will feed ash back to the start and just import, you know, mix to mix waste to those additional dumps or to water post. That's nothing you would like to have. That's why I always have, I have like at least small, like here, small small distribution office that will handle this, and eventually just handle you know those side outputs. I could definitely do it here instead of this small one or just put an, an, another one here and let let it distribute those things like the plastic and such because eventually they would f they would fill and I need to do something with them. But you all know that that's new, not new mechanic, it's just, you know, storage management. So, that's it. Have a nice day, hope you liked it. Bye.